Keep watching Charis TV. Because I don't think I can pray for all of you here. I'll call my son to prophesy. If you need deliverance, you uh, just stand up. You need deliverance. You need deliverance. You go to church. Where? You need deliverance. You hear me? Yes. You spirit that is in your family that doesn't want people to marry has also captured you. And here you are suffering. Here. Huh? Yes, Apostle. You are really suffering. Here. It's true. Come to me, come to me. This is a demon here. And I look at you, I get troubled. And here you love God. This is a demon, this one. Come on. These demons are troubling my sisters. And here people are laughing at you. This year they will celebrate you. Jesus, come on. Demon. Huh? What are you saying? No, the dad. Huh? Oh my God, he's speaking vendor. <laughs> nice thought is a shagan. Demolition is a man. Eh, Nirimini? Nikoto Damini. What do you want? Ah, who came with it? Come. Is it the first time you're coming here? She came for the second time. You know what, Toma? I don't know why when she talks about women, I don't I don't listen to anyone who says you are beautiful. They say you are beautiful because they want to sleep with you and leave you. Wait for God to eat for you. It makes your parents to be proud at home. July will be a big month for you. Things happen in July the month of July in your life. Even the issue of job that you are worrying about. You will get it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Leave it down. Leave it down. So, oi obo foro wa nabe uno obo foro. If you're sending me some control, can you run fast? I'll be very quick. I'll pray for you. Rani, I want to pray for you. Control. Lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. Your surname is called Mkonto. Mkonto. I can't pronounce this. Mkonto. Mkonto. Yes. I don't know. Is it Chang'an? Huh? Yeah. I want to pray for you. Amen. Are you ready? Amen. Because I saw you sitting on the bed crying. Yes, it's true. Uh -huh. It's true. Because of the situation around you. Amen. Looking also on the children. Amen. So you must not worry. I'll pray for you. Amen. This year is going to be a very good year for you. Amen. Oh, you me? Amen. I pray that God must give you a right partner. Amen. Because you've been crying for that. Amen. That's true. Can, can I bless you today? Fast, fast. Can I tell you about what is coming? Yeah. We don't speak much. Lift up your hands. In Jesus' name, come out! In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
I want to pray for you so that God can help you so you can get married. Where is your husband? I'm not married. Tonight. I want to pray for you so that God can help you in the issue of marriage. Amen. Do you want to be married? After two years, yes. After two years, what are you doing now? I'm working. The Ashuma. Where is your boyfriend? boyfriend. Huh? I don't have a boyfriend. But we don't have way. People like you. You do have problems in the future. Those, that's why I'm saying I want God to help you in the issue of marriage. Amen. Don't say when things are going well for you and you forgot that uh, days are going by, you are growing up. By the time when you say you want to get married, the time will be finished. Are you hearing me? I am hearing you. When you start by having a car, when you see yourself driving your own car and eating macaroni and everything, don't forget that your time also is going by. When 28, 29 comes, when 30 comes, 31, and you will find that people are just coming to eat your money and go away. Now allow God to help you so that you can get married. Don't say I want to eat my money first. There is no one who has money. God loves you and God wants you to be married. Are you hearing me? God must bless you. Sometimes when people are starting to work, you, when you buy your car, your Renault or your Toyota Yaris, you hear somebody saying, I want to eat my money. Time is going by. When that money that you are eating will make you to be solid and you will be ugly. From there, you start having some other shapes that are not right. <laughs> so, anyway, we'll be to be buried and then you go. You, you'll get a job. You'll get a job, sister. You'll get a job and you must forgive these people. Are you hearing me? For, forgive. Forgive these people. I don't want to mention someone's name. Forgive this lady. Okay. Huh? There's a lady who's after everyone there, and you people you know now. Huh? Yes. Forgive, forgive her. After you forgive, God will give you a job. Are oh, you hearing me? Yes. God will give you a job. No, no death. Amen. Are oh, you hearing me? Amen. No what? No death. No death. Amen. Because even you, you must forgive your, your sisters-in-law. Amen. Huh? Not death. I cancel this death. Amen. Let me pray for you. Do you know a lady called Jane? Huh? Jane. Jane. Yes. No. Huh? Jane. No. You don't know her, right? No. Come on. Today, I cancel this. I'll kill them. You won't kill them in Jesus' name. Ah. You, know what I mean? you won't kill them. Ah. Sister, Oyo. stand up. Oyo. Oyo. Yes. Stand up. There are things that move in your body. 
There are things that are moving in your body. Yes, it's true. It's true. Those things are moving in the body and they're also going to the legs. Sometimes you feel like scratching yourself. It's itchy in your body. It's true. Those things make you to attract bad luck unto your own self. And people hate you for nothing. And you ask yourself, why are people hating me? God is giving you favor. Amen. God is giving you favor. Those things are coming out. Amen. Amen. You are pointing at me. You are pointing at me. Take her there. Those things must leave you. You don't know a lady called Jane? You don't know? No, I can't remember. There's a lady, I don't know, I'm just seeing a lady who's got two children. You must pray for this lady. You will know her when you leave her. Oh, I've remembered her. Huh? Yeah, she's my daughter in the church. I saw it. There's a child. There's a girl. Yeah, there she's is got a girl. girl. Yeah, and also a boy also. Yeah, two. Yeah, two I children. Two. Yes. The boy is the first one. Yes, exactly. Huh? Exactly. And this girl is the second one. Exactly. So, to be honest with you, God wants to raise you because these people they love you. Too much. Oh, you hear me? Too much. But I'm seeing challenges of marriage Too much. on these ladies. Yes, exactly. But to be honest with you, you, the grace of charity will really work for you. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. I wanted to say something, but... This one I will tell you in secret. Hey, I want to have Let's do like this. Yeah. Uh. Go and pray for that lady. Amen. These are the people that will support you. Amen. I'm Amen. seeing difficult times that are coming. Amen. Amen. Because I'm seeing pastors that will stand against your church. Amen. It's true. It's very so, true. Please. Don't even entertain them. Amen. Amen. You know, Jesus Christ, when things like this, he say they don't know what they are doing. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you heard what I said? He say they don't know what they are doing. Amen. Sometimes. To be honest, I was telling people here in the church, I said, you know, I, I've been saving God for a long time. I asked another man, I said, if I was here when I was 80, were you a Christian? He's a pastor. He said, you were not leaving a church. Huh? If I was here when I was 80, brother, you know, 18 years. You know how old I am now? Look here. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm trying to guide you. Huh? Look here. You see, I'm, it's turning white. Huh? <laughs> pastor, let me pray for you. Let me pray for my pastor. 